before a big fight, you know, a warm up might consist of only 15 minutes, but intense. There's no point warming up for two quarters of an hour or an hour before a fight and going through the motions. Maybe 20 minutes before the fight, do all your relevant exercises, and your your pad work with which your which your coach, you know. So by the time the fight comes around, you're you're good to go, you know. Darren Connell and Cops for Kids, thanks for taking the time. The boys are here, they're going through their paces. It's raising funds for... Crumbling Children's Hospital, St John's Ward. Okay, so it's a fundraiser night in the right venue in Swords on the 10th of February 2012. A fight night with fun is how we're going to the first big night after Christmas. Good work. People are familiar with the white collar boxing. This is blue collar boxing. This is Cops for Kids. This is, yeah, glad you picked up on that. The blue collar uh, detects the, the uniform there, so the blue collar, just a little bit different. All these here behind me are policemen. The vast majority of them have never been inside a boxing ring before in their lives. This is all about raising funds. You've got a couple of guys here who've got some, some children up in Correct, Crumlin yeah. There's and need help. They need your help. That's right, yes. We have uh, young Eddie. Young Eddie, uh, his dad works with me personally. He's uh, two, two years old on Christmas week and he's leukemia. He's been treated at St. John's Ward. Then young Connor is uh, eight years old and he's a serious bone marrow condition. And Connor's dad works in the same building as me and a lot of these guys here. So we're raising, we're just doing this as a sign of solidarity. Uh, not just for them kids, but for all the kids in the ward, because there's a different Eddie there today and a different Connor there today. One, four, again, again, harder, faster, again, lovely again. Look, you've got a target of, I hear, about 20,000 euros on this. How do people get in contact with you to raise these funds? Right, okay, well, we got a Facebook page, uh, we got Twitter, you can follow all the social medias are being utilised, so you can, uh, uh, you can contact us at www.cops4kids. The right venue will be transformed on the night. This is going to be a real fight with some, some heavy hitting going on. We've, of the matches, I assure everyone there, buy your tickets, this is going to be sold out. There's going to be 1,600 people there and the matches are going to be fantastic. Okay. They're all very interesting. Two more. That next, let's go, two, two. Katie Taylor is involved in the night I hear. That's right, she's our patron and we are delighted to have Katie, Katie Taylor on board. Obviously one of Ireland's greatest ever sports people and hopefully she'll do as proud in London uh, next year. I know she's busy, she's taking time out on the 15th of December to launch our event and we'll be doing that from, say, from Crumlin Children's Hospital. Okay, thanks so much for taking the time and it's great to see some fine bodied men yes, uh, getting the gloves on. Thanks very much. Thank you so okay. much. Faster! 